Hi guys, it's Nigel at Lockheed Independent State Agents. I hope you're well. Today I will want to welcome you to my property tour because we're down on the favoured Lake Hawk side of town. So just out of town, going out on the Lake Hawk side in a, an area, of this this road is called Methuen Avenue. And just in there behind me today, this property is offered with no chain, is a three bedroom semi-detached property. And this is what we call the good old fashioned doer upper. As you can see, there's a canopy storm porch which needs a bit of attention there. Double glazed door too, there's an entrance hall. There's a utility boot room there. Um, you go into a spacious living room. There's a kitchen, uh, three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom. Areas for consideration that needs to work are on decor. You'll need to put um, new painting in there. Um, that there needs to be new carpets, new kitchen, new bathroom, and then look at the heating as well. There's an old boiler in there that just needs to be looked at. So there, there is some money to be spent. But this is why there are things called deal wrappers because some properties do need a bit of modernising. Um, these were built, I believe, in the 1950s. Um, so this is a steel, a steel frame construction. It is kingly priced. It's at uh, a good level. This one. Um, with all my tours, you know I'm going to spin the camera around. I want to talk about the amenities because we're on the edge of town, Melchior. We're on the edge of town now. We'll talk about that. And then we're going to go in through that double glazed door and explore this property in Methuen Avenue. And here we are, guys, outside Methuen Avenue. So it's an empty property, uh, so there is no chain. Like I said, it's going to suit somebody that wants to do a doer upper. It needs modernising inside. Methuen Avenue, sort of arcs around so it's like a cul-de-sac that just arcs around there's some allotments over there there's countryside walks and if you go further along and then travel further down the, you'll go into Woodrow Road and the beautiful National uh, uh, Trust village of Laycock is some only two miles away so it's stunning you can even connect this to Bowood Estate you can go that way into Chippenham which is a great so you can connect back onto the A350 and from here guys if you were looking to get into the M4 I'd say a good 15 20 minutes minute drive you're on the M4 then you've got London access if you want it Bristol southwest Wales whatever it's ideal for that if you wanted to come back through the development and then go back up Forest Road that will then link you into the town of Melksham uh, to walk it I would say I'm quite a fit lad I would say a good 15 20 minutes to get to the car you know five minutes drive and you're into the town of Melksham there's a convenience store close by but because we're on that same northern side of town you're on the edge of town there are a lot of countryside walks and you go into Woodrow Road and there's some fields and countryside there into Laycock and Laycock um, that speaks for itself it's a stunning stunning village um, so what we're going to do we're going to go through that door we're going to explore Methuen Avenue obviously with all the amenities I think the cat's trying to say hello there with Melksham you know there is a train station that goes hourly or everything too early and then you've got the range of shops as well there are schools obviously that you you can look at um, but Melsham is a bustling market town guys probably it's like this though I mean I've at the moment there used to be quite a few deal uppers so I think this will create a lot of, uh, of attention as well um, so any questions obviously feel free to, to field them over to us you can see there's a drive there so ample parking if you wanted to take the hedge down in that little tree I love trees you know I, I'd say don't but you can make more per, um, space you know people do it and they want to get the parking in there and in there so you could have then maybe one two three cars at the front there's even a little side porch which you know you could move around and this is a very extendable property at the back as well so the scope to extend this property subject to planning permissions being uh, granted so as we walk through let's take a view and get inside as promised, as we walk into the front garden, you can see it's there's that graveled area. You could take that down. That's that could be extra parking. The side pedestrian access that then takes you into what is a decent large garden at the back. But let's get inside this house. Let's just close this door. I'm just going to show you the stairs. Go to the first floor landing. So we'll climb those stairs in a bit. There's rooms off different rooms. And as I spin the camera on, you know, with all my tours, I'd like to show you the entrance door that we came into. There's some like wood effect laminate flooring, radiator, and then we're gonna go off into certain rooms. As we're here, why don't we just get stuck into this property? And this I would have imagined over the years, because it was built in the 50s, this house, would have been the old log store or boot room or something. We've called it like a useful utility area boot room because I'll just show you, there's a double glazed window there. It links into the kitchen. But it's just mainly, I think, a storeroom or or something. You can create something in here. There's the old boiler that I mentioned. And 
that's the reason why we do these property tours. We get a lot of compliments for our honesty. Our job is to break down barriers and to give buyers all the information needed. So of course you can see the age of it, it looks quite old. I think that will need to have a look at and I think you'll need to put a new heat or a boiling system or heating system there um, along with then the decal where you can see the carpets that's old. So that room we're gonna call boot room for now. Open up into the kitchen. There you can see the carpets, obviously that it needs to be new. The units aren't so bad, you know, you could keep the units if you want, there's plenty for washing machine, but again, it just needs some attention because you can see the carpets, the yellow, you would take that away, check out the ceilings, you would skim the ceilings potentially. And this is the attraction with these builds because you can extend them, but look at the big double glazed window just flooding in natural light. And that big garden at the back, super garden at the back there which we'll explore later i just want to turn the camera around so i'll give you another angle of this kitchen because you'll have base units there's my level cupboards space for cooker extractor hood obviously this will go the washing machine will go there's space here for your fridge freezer but you could do something in there i don't think you need to knock through you could knock through make that slightly bigger and then over the years bless them the the couple that used to live here they put a, a, a double glaze it's not a conservatory it's more of a lean-to but it's like a a nice lean-to i'm not sure what you can do with it but i'm just going to show you the lean-to we're going to get in the garden in a minute but again i think let's say you've got dogs or you just want to put your shoes in here you could use it as a nice little again boot room there's some plug you know some power points in here as well come back out and through to the kitchen it's not a bad size I'm taken by those big windows. I think that's lovely. And I think this kitchen could be pretty special. The whole property could. Then you go out through these multi-pane doors. I'm just gonna close the, the door there because again, in this city, we've got these lovely windows. You see there's a radiator, would affect laminate flooring. And then it opens up and then you can see the size of this room. It's a decent room. You can see that you can put plenty of areas there for your sofa, suite, whatever. And again, you've got these blinds here, which you you know, but these big windows, these big windows letting in light. I haven't opened these blinds, but that opens up into that parking that we mentioned earlier. You can create more there. You've also got your drive there. You can put the car, you know, on the road as well that I have for this video tour, but a nice size room nonetheless. So when I'm talking about work, just to recap, I think you need to decorate. I think you need to sort the paint out. Um, some some of the walls have were wallpapers to take that off. I think you'll need to sort out the kitchen, the bathroom, and then that heating, and I think yeah, you're done. And just remember, there is no chain to this property, so there is some potential. Little recess area there. So let's recap when we came in. Entrance door, the stairs go to that first floor landing. Then it comes into this room here. We're gonna call it a boot room stroke useful utility for now. I'm not sure what else to call it. Double glazed window boiler there's your flooring going into your kitchen and then it has that utility stroke I don't know double glazed lean-to which it is nice windows again and then come back through and there's two entrances into this sitting room actually entrance from the hallway entrance from the kitchen so let's get upstairs have a look at those three bedrooms and the bathroom and as promised, we're just gonna walk through the sitting room. Good size. Just gonna quickly turn this around again. And then we're gonna climb these stairs and take a look upstairs. As the stairs go left to right, you're gonna see there's a bathroom in there. Double glazed window bringing in natural light. Bedroom there, bedroom there, and bedroom there. While we're here, we might as well have a look at the bathroom. It's via a sliding door, so I suppose that creates more space for you, so it doesn't open up into the landing. And there you can see like a walk-in shower. They've taken the bath away. These guys were elderly, bless them. So they needed the, the access into a bath, and that bath area was perfect for them. Electric shower there. Wash and basin, some tiled splashbacks and some walling on that side. Low level WC, extractor hood, obscure double glazed window. And just look, there it is there your radiator etc coming back out window bringing in light into the landing and you can see the carpets that need changing up here we go into bedroom three there's a little cupboard over the stairwell small bedroom could be a great office could be a great nursery room bedroom of course 
you know you can use this variety of uses but look the carpets need changing wallpaper it needs some decor etc etc but me for one I'm, I'm excited because they've got a little doer upper to sell you don't get many so they just create a lot of interest and then people could put their own mark on these properties really really good so that's bedroom three we've seen the bathroom back out into the landing area and then we're going to go into another double bedroom this is bedroom two see the bed areas there of course that just comes up from the stairs big enough double guys and again big windows cracking windows and I love it, you know, the, and like I said, these were built in the 1950s, so they were built with space in mind at the time. And because you're at the edge of town, you have those countryside walks or areas or accesses to, you know, more walks, you know, it's perfect for that. It's just a little bit further away from the town, which is nice. And that lovely garden there as well. Come back out, just one final look of bedroom two, and then we're gonna go into bedroom one. You're gonna rip up the carpets, you're gonna sort out the wallpaper, you know, these are the decor that we're on, we're on about. And you're going to smarten this up. It's going to be light. It's going to be bright. It's going to have different furniture in there. You know, this is a family home. I think, you know, a young family could buy this and do it up at their time and get a decent home, you know, for themselves here. And it's slightly cheaper. Yes, you need to spend some money. But if you can do some of the work yourself, even better. But a great room, great size. And again, like I said, look at those big windows. Nice windows. You think I'm going window mad, but you see, I like lateral light. And when a property offers that, you know, I think it's a big, big plus. Lovely size bedroom, this. And that's it in a nutshell up here, guys. You know, all in all, it's a three bed semi-detached, you know, with a, which needs modernizing. But you've got your three bedrooms and your family bathroom upstairs. Let's go outside, let's check out that back garden. To check out the back garden, we're gonna walk through the living room, lounge, Yes, it's got big windows there, Nigel. <laughs> Through to the kitchen. Yep. And then we're gonna walk through here. That's that double glazed lean-to. And then you're greeted with this patio. It's actually quite a wide patio, long patio. And then it just opens up into the garden. I'm just gonna let the camera do the talking because it's very quiet. And then you can enjoy uh, just listening to the birds rather than me for a second or two. self-explanatory sometimes gardens it's laid to lawn there's nice trees there's a bit of work to be done out here as well because you want to you might want to make areas slightly different you might want to put a little seating area up here you're going to knock down that shed you know that's had better days you know there's a bit of attending to do these are mature trees as well so you'll have to consider you know who's going to chop them down or cut them down or if you're going to do it yourself or some help as well along the way they give you great privacy they're beautiful trees love trees hug them all day but the point is the you know this garden's so nice it's such a decent sized garden as well maybe you could put in if they can if there's a chimney recess a log burner in the property you can then have log stores out here you can be really romantic with this property that's why you know we try and do these tours in such a way to give you ideas as to what you can do with it you know possibilities again you can bring this outside me personally i would bring it outside i think i'd make that kitchen bigger i create a, another room in there and i think that would help not only the value but the way you live in this property you know so you know it's got a lot of plus points and i'm glad that you know we're able to show those off as well as the points that need to, to have some attention as well and you know i don't need to say any more than that i think this is such a you know an interesting project for somebody or a property to buy it's a three bed um on this side of town it's empty and look any questions it's nigel lock and keen Penn estate agents on 01225 707 342 and i hope you're all well guys